We are here live behind the scenes at Te Papa, getting ready for an examination of a colossal squid that's in the lab next door. Cephalopods are a group of mollusks that have um, a, a crown of arms and a beak uh, and a head, and they're sort of attached to a sac-like body that's got all of the organs inside. Are they still the world's largest, heaviest invertebrate? Absolutely. The colossal squid weighs up to between 400 and 500 kilos, which far outweighs anything else that we know of. Could they be big enough to really swallow up a submarine? <laughs> Sadly, I'm going to have to dispel that. Um, no, well, no, they're not. This colossal squid out in a tank is only one of two that have ever been brought to the surface intact and in a condition that's good enough for scientists to actually study. Now, both these colossal squid have been caught by one man, John Bennett, who's the skipper of the fishing vessel San Aspiring, and he is joining us now. John. We're lucky to have you because we, you probably don't spend much time on land. No, not really, no. It's a pleasure to be here and, uh, and yeah, I've spent uh, many years fishing in Antarctica and I think uh, 15 years now. So, um, yeah, if anybody's uh, probably going to catch a colossal squid, it's possibly me, I guess. In the early part of the season, as the ice starts to thaw, we make our way into the Ross Sea, where the colossal squid was caught. Well, it was caught on a long line in our normal operation of fishing. And uh, the toothfish come along and bite the bait. And then the colossal squid comes along and catches the toothfish while it's tethered to the hook. And uh, he was determined not to let go. During that time, he had a good old feed on the toothfish as it was coming up to the surface. And at the same time, it probably being attacked by some of the other fish as well while he was hanging onto it. So he was showing definite signs of being attacked and it was actually dying by the time he got to the surface. So what you can see here is we've turned the squid. <laughs> this is the eye, and the white bit that you can see, bring this up just a little bit, the white bit that you can see here is one of the two light organs. So that's the smaller light organ. The eye is completely intact inside, the lens is still there. There's a small light organ here, and there's a much larger light organ that goes all the way around the inside of the eye, inside the head. The funnel is here. This is one of the ways that the animal can swim, is to fill the mantle with water and then shoot it out the funnel. So this one has got a, a nice big funnel which it can point in any direction. It can move equally well in most directions. And then the arms down here surround the beak. So um, we'll show you the beak a bit later. But um, we do have some, some nice chunky arms. They've got beautiful suckers on them. And then in the middle here you can see the hooks. The sort of famous hooks that we talked about. All right, and then we've got half the islands. <laughs> and it's, you know, nice and shiny and pearly, a bit like a human islands. There, lots of nice colorful stuff from in there. Both inside the eye. Thanks. All right. It's huge. The buccal belt is absolutely enormous. The upper beak fits inside the lower beak, and when it, it's cutting its food up, it's chop, it's chewing like this, basically. So 
we'll want to know exactly how long that lower rostrum is. I mentioned before that the esophagus is not very big. This is it hanging off the back of the beak here with a nice little bit of ice inside it. And that's, that's it. That's the size of the tube that passes all of the colossal squid's food down to its stomach. Forty point, forty-one. Close. Closer, look at the back. We'll get everyone to put hands sort of under the fin, and we'll lift it up and give you an idea of exactly how massive the fin on this animal is. If we had this animal completely laid out flat, it would pretty much take up this entire tank and then some. The arms would extend further down than that end. It would be over the edge and down. It's just an absolutely massive animal. Just really in awe of it. <laughs>